the money isn't that much, the tasks are demanding, companies lay off people more than they hire, freelancers get bullied by toxic clients financially and task-wise. The sad part is 70% of up-and-coming 3D artists don't know where to start from and where they are going to end up. The system in the 3D world is a system controlled and manipulated by a few people who choose themselves over you but want you to offer more for them than you can offer to yourself. If you've chosen this career path, then one, you have chosen to be a part of one of the most slowest grown jobs in the world. Two, you just choose to walk in a path of darkness without a single light. You are all by yourself. The technical challenges alone you face behind a computer is a different ball game altogether which I'm not going to tackle in this video. Without wasting any more time, let's One thing I'm most grateful about when I began my 3D journey was how lucky I was to have people around me who were already into 3D. One thing they failed to let me know were the dark aspects of this game. It's my 13th year in 3D animation and the most interesting thing is none of the people who taught me back in the days can be found in any of the 3D fields worldwide. Well, most of them are either teaching in the 3D field with um, I think the eldest of them which is around 65 years old directing a Netflix movie. It's very interesting how the big players in the game speak on 3D animation as if it's the most fun job any human being can have. Let me digress a little bit. In soccer or football, there is a maximum and minimum age limit to the game. You begin early so you can play for long. When you reach your 30s into your 40s, you are considered as fulfilled, rich, old and for that matter, you need to retire in order to make room for other young players to step in. This is an awesome system which favors and cares for each player across the world. The 3D animation field doesn't have a system to it mostly because the big players in the game see it as an opportunity to rip employed artists up. That's why you get a lot of companies hiring or sending their work outside of the USA to India or other countries because they don't want to spend too much for the kind of quality they want. They want to have massive professional individual 3D artists working on their project who would only charge half of what the native will charge. Now, this point contributes to one of the main reasons why you might not be getting a job as a 3D artist. They are only looking for people they can rip off. Well, most certainly not all of them, but majority of the companies would do that. Tell me you wouldn't want to be exploited by a company or client who would pay you in dollars only for you to change it into your native currency and you have a bucket load of money you can't count they beat you psychologically to the game. The best advice I can close my eyes and offer to anybody who wants to take this career path is to check your age. It's no more fun sitting behind a computer at longer hours at a certain age. And since 3D animation is all about sitting and getting creative, you might want to look out for that. I did some calculations here which I know would benefit a lot of up and coming 3D animators who are watching this video. According to a data I drew for myself, from the ages of 13 to 23 is one of the best times you can get into 3D animation. I am convinced that in order for one to become a good and settled 3D animator, you have to study and practice consistently for not less than 5 to 7 years. So even if you begin at the age cap of 23, you still have 7 years of time to gain experience and that will usher you into your 30s. At that point, you still got some more time to put your life together from the little money you make before the authentic stress period sets in. Remind you, the majority of years you are going to spend as a 3D artist isn't going to be on a 9 to 5. Don't be deceived if any company hiring you throws that format to you. You are going to do more than that, so you better get your bed in your bag. On the flip side, freelancing is fun until you reach a point of not getting jobs coming in like before. You also have to face toxic clients who aren't willing to give you a good deal for your hard work but want the job at a certain professional standard. Most female clients on the other hand tend to complain and pressure a lot. No offense to women in multimedia but that's what you have to deal with most of the time. Women supervisors love to put pressure on things that don't even have pressure to it. At the moment, I'm working on my own personal project 
I'm tired of working for people because it's not healthy for the body and mind. I'm doing my best to get the project to a point where it can be functioning without me so I can focus on doing Maya and Houdini tutorials solely on YouTube. I can't work this long hours until I'm 40 to 50, you know, so the earlier you also redraw your life as a 3D artist, the better. If you are thinking of making six figures a month or even a year as a 3D artist, then I'm sorry to break the news to you, but you choose the wrong career path. Go home. Animation is a really hard task. It can take days to make a 5 minute animation video with clarity. Spending more than 12 hours behind your computer, especially when your deadline is approaching, can be tough for the body and also the mind. The Japanese anime industry is very popular in providing high quality anime. Many animators work over time for months to get the job done. That's not only tough but also harsh for the health of the animators. Most of the animators I know have either suffered from depression or other types of sicknesses which led them to exploit other career options which isn't as heavily demanding as 3D animation. Majority of animators are paid less. The starting pack of an indie animator starts from 1.2 to 1.3 lakh. You might think it gets better out of India but that might be a lie. It's sometimes even worse. In Japan, one animation drawing could give you 2 or 3 dollars but it takes hours to finish just one drawing. 90% of animators aren't paid according to the quality of their work. They work more and more to finish one scene. Just after that, another one arrives. No rest. Why wouldn't you be depressed in such a situation? If you are in Japan, you know what I'm talking about. If you are a 3D artist with the aim of traveling to work in different 3D companies across the world, you better not get overexcited and not read the deals carefully. You might be signing into something that will take away the most important time of your life in exchange for some few coins. Animation is very popular around the world, unlike India where only a few 2D shows run. In the US and mostly in the East Asian region, it is on high demand. Most of these shows are aired on a scheduled basis which gradually increases the burden on already overworked animators. Surprisingly enough, there is a term called a slave contract. This type of contract cages the animator to work until a particular show is completely over. You might think it's illegal. Well, wait until you find yourself signing up for one unknowingly. Japan is mostly known for these kind of contracts. That's why you sometimes get more than 200 shows airing in Japan alone. Most people without these kinds of knowledge have signed up to be donkeys in return for chicken change. There are many indirect negative effects on individuals who work in these industries. Some of the common problems faced by most animators are 1. Sleep deprivation 2. Depression 3. Health issues due to improper nutrition intake 4. Fewer relationships and social engagements 5. Poor work-life balance Well, you might think these are all but I can surely promise you sometimes it gets worse than these. If you go to Hollywood, you get a lot of 3D supervisors speak on TV and on YouTube interviews talking about how fun a project was. Well, no matter how fun it got, there is always a dark reality behind the making of those high quality animations and it takes only the guys behind the computer to unveil that to you, not the supervisors. Don't waste your time whilst you are young. Plan your life very well, get serious with your craft, make some money and settle for your own personal projects. If you love this video then a sub to my channel will be very much deadly.